I'm Marcy Barron, and this is Mondays with Marcy. I'm your homeward bound guide to everything 5D living. I can't wait to share with you tips and tools to guide your personal transformation so that you can live a life that thrills you. Hi guys, welcome to Mondays with Marcy. I am Marcy Barron and this is episode five called embodiment. So what does that mean? I've been using that word a lot actually in the previous episodes and I want to spend um, some time talking about it. So let's just talk about the three levels of of knowing okay the first level is knowledge right it's like i know something i've heard it before um you know it might be new to me or maybe i've heard that before i'm not so sure um the second level is um integration i'm integrating it it's like i've i've heard of that before so now i'm trying it and i am you know, not that consistent with it, but I have to consciously be aware of it. And the third level is embodiment, all right? Embodiment is I live, walk, talk, breathe it. So let me give an example. Um, If you learn, let's say, about exercise, right? And you first, for the first time ever, and it was probably a long time ago, you heard like, oh, exercise is really healthy and that's something you should do. You're like, oh, I didn't know that I should move my body every day. Wow, okay. Um, and you, you know, you start to learn about the benefits of exercise and all the different kinds of exercises. That's like the knowledge place, right? That's where you're learning and understanding. The integration is where you're like, all right, I'm gonna exercise and I'm going to exercise every day or you know, at least try three times a week. Um, and you have to consciously like make time for it and, 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 and integrate that into your daily routine. Embodiment is like you live, walk, talk, and breathe it. It's like your workout is non-negotiable. You make time for whatever it is that you are doing because it is just a part of who you are. It is something that you just live, walk, talk, breathe, um, whatever it is. And it's something that is just a part of you. So I hope that example makes sense, right? Um, And with embodying, when I'm talking about the spiritual flu, when you embody your spiritual self, Let's take a look at that now because it's a little bit more esoteric. It's a little bit more um, maybe not able to understand. So you might be a person who is in that knowledge place of spirituality and your spiritual self. Um, You might be like, in this place where you are learning about that you are more than a body. You might be learning about that you are an energetic being. You might be learning about um, that you are, there's something bigger than you and you are just in the knowledge state. And that's a great place to be. It's exciting actually. Um, you might be in the place of integrating that, right? So you might might be in a place where it's like, all right, I, I understand these things and then let me try to meditate to go and alter my brain waves and connect with my higher self. Let me try to um, go in and, you know, what else? Um, connect with my spirit guides. Let me consciously go in and, um, you know, whatever you're learning. I don't even know. I can't even think in my mind right now. Um, 
but you're just like trying things on, right? It's like trying things on. It's like, oh, let me just, you know, try this essential oil or whatever it is that you're just integrating into your life. And then full embodiment is that you are so connected to your higher self, like it's not even anything conscious anymore. It's just fully um, a part of you and you are in constant contact with that higher aspect of you and that higher aspect of you is guiding you and you don't even have to consciously connect anymore it's just like oh you know you get that intuitive hit and it's like oh okay i i know that's that's from my higher self i know that's my intuition um that is how you fully embody your spiritual self it's it's for me, you know, with like energetic hygiene, let's say like that might be a concept that's new to you, right? So you're like, all right, every day I'm going to be doing the five minute. Um, I just learned about it. Okay. I didn't know about energetic hygiene. I know, I now know that I should be clearing my energy and then you're integrating it, right? Every day you are listening to the five minute energy cleanse. If you haven't gotten it, it's free on my website. Um, and I'm listening to it and full embodiment of that is like, for me, I'm just like, and it, you know, like clearing, moving, and it, it's just like instantaneous. Okay. So, um, that's, those are the three levels. So when you embody your spiritual self, you're literally, it's like, there's no, there's a consciousness around it, like there's an intention, but it it doesn't require so much work, if that makes sense. So that's embodiment. And ultimately, when we all are able to fully come in and and bridge heaven and earth, if we're fully able to embody our spiritual selves, there is no separation between us and there is no separation between anyone else. Hmm. Right. It's like just we are fully embodied and it's not even anything that we have to think about. So don't. I mean, my advice to you is I don't want you to like be like, oh, well, I'm only in the knowledge or oh, I'm only in the integration. It's like we're, we all have done that. <laughs> We've all done that. And I am in, you know, learning about and integrating and now fully embodying other aspects of consciousness that I didn't even know about. And you have to trust that everything finds you when you are ready for it. And if it, if you weren't ready for it, um, it wouldn't find you. And if you, if it didn't appeal to you, you'd be like, all right, that's not for me. Bye. <laughs> right? It's not anything that you have to get sucked into or anything that you have to, um, you know, buy into. It's like, it's like, all right, you know, that just wasn't for me. And that's cool. That's great. There's no judgment here. Everybody finds their way. Everybody has their own path. Everybody is exactly. And I want to remind you, you are exactly where you're supposed to be. Everybody wants to be exactly sometimes in a different place, but if you were supposed to be in a different place, you'd be there. Okay. So, um, just, hold this as an understanding, hold this as a place of, um, I guess, knowledge for maybe some of you in this moment, it's like, Oh, okay, I never knew that before. And that's what we're working on. That's what we're working through. And again, I'm just very passionate, like all, my whole focus has been on spiritual flu is that when you you go through the lens of your symptoms. When you look at what's happening, you are able to connect to wisdom of the lesson that you need to learn. You are able to connect to um, 
an aspect of you that is more than this body. You are able to come into some sort of lesson or healing or clearing, if you will, about and around um, the what needs to go. And it's okay. I just want you to have curiosity and compassion and patience around it because we're all doing the best we can. We're all learning. We're all growing. We're all healing. And if you're listening to this, um, this is meant to find you in this moment, right? If, 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 if you are, if this is finding you, it's like, oh, okay. Um, and I want to just like tell a personal story, a big part of my journey to embodiment has been not leaving. I had a big pattern of dissociation. I would just like literally go numb and check out because it was just too painful for me to be here with a lot of what I've been through. And so, um, and I'll go more into my story and, and my healing journey and those things. Um, but when you dissociate, when you don't feel safe in your body, how do you get embodied? You can't. It's impossible, right? So it's like, all right, so it really took a lot of me healing the trauma around me not feeling safe here in this body and like wanting to leave my body and checking out and going numb. So it's a process and it's something that, um, you know, I have literally made space in my own body to be like, it's safe for my spirit to be in. Cause there was just a part of me that just wasn't here. It was just safer not to be here. I was just going through life and numb and had a lot of, um, you know, we all have a lot of trauma. I say, you know, big T, little T, you can't minimize your trauma. It is how your younger self or yourself in this moment, um, processes it right so it's 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 not anything that you can compare it's not anything you could say like oh well this person had this you know worse and i didn't have this and this person had that it's like no you're having your unique experience and what might be traumatizing for you might not be tra have been traumatizing for your sibling let's say um and that's okay Again, we're all just doing the best we can from where we are in our state of consciousness and in our state of healing. So just um, know that embodiment is like if we set our sails, let's say, to a destination and there is no destinations. I said this, there is no there. But if we were to set our course um because it's like let's fully embody whatever it is that we're working on let's fully embody our spiritual self and that's gonna come in little drips and drabs it just as we heal the physical it's going to and the emotional and the mental it's going to make more space for our spirit to fully drop into our bodies and i hope that makes sense um but I really wanted to spend a little bit of time just talking about embodiment. And if I can support you on your journey, um, you can go and um, check out my website where, again, I'm really doing this deep dive in spiritual flu. It has become a passion of mine and a um, exciting way in an exciting lens for me and everyone and hold in the world to to embody their spiritual self. So I hope that makes sense. And this was a short one, but um, very important. So thank you for being with me. And I'll see you next time.
that's it for this week's episode of Mondays with Marcy. Be sure to subscribe to my newsletter at marcybarronclears.com. I also would love for you to follow me on your favorite podcasting app so that you don't miss a single episode. I'm Marcy Barron, and thanks for listening. I am so grateful you are here. Thank you.